Hello everyone, today I'm back with an unboxing review of the Chao C attachment for the Xiaomi M365, or in my case, the Hover One Pioneer. I'm excited to put this together, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Out of the box, it comes with two side guards, which I think is a must to have with this seat. From the side, they measure 7 inches across and are wrapped in a soft foam, which will safely keep your child on the seat. Next, we have here the front handlebar, which measure 8 inches across and has two grip handles that measure 2 inches. It is quite cute and small, but it's perfect for the child's hand. Now we have here the seat support and footrest. This will help support and stabilize the seat when being used. Next we have here the child seat. Although it's nicely padded, it's not the best of quality. The cover is made of some soft plastic like those used to make beach balls. Not the best, but it'll give you some good use out of it before the seat needs to be replaced. Finally, we have here a small bag containing all the screw and bolts that you'll need to attach the parts together. And look like this, no extraction, but hey, it's okay, I got you. To begin with, we have a total of 5 parts to assemble. The seat, the handlebar, seat support, and two side guards. Remember, these are lightweight metals that are meant to support a child under 30 to 35 pounds. So I would not recommend anything heavier than that. So first thing first, we need to attach the side guard to the front handlebar. We will need to take off these two nuts in order to attach the side guard beneath the handlebar. Make sure to screw back the nuts tightly to prevent play from the guards during use. We will go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side guard. A quick test and it seems to be on there nice and strong. Next step, we need to attach the seat by removing four of the nuts from the mounting points. The seat will slide around to the front handlebar support and you will screw back in the nuts. Almost there. With all the contact point tight and secure, you should see no play or movement at all. Now let's attach the seat support. It has two mounting points so you can adjust the seat to the height that you desire. To attach the support, you will use the screw and nuts that are provided for you. Alright, so here is the completed product and it turned out better than I expected. Not the best of quality, but I think it will do just fine in supporting a 30 pound child. Just make sure all the screws and bolts are tight and there is no play for any of the parts. One thing here to note is that the main frame is foldable, so you can fold the seat down like this when not in use. Although I'm not planning to use this feature, I honestly don't see how this will work with the limited space available on the deck of the scooter. So let's go ahead and test out the seat on the scooter. As you can see, the frame is extended a bit too far. Beneath the seat, you can remove these two bolts to adjust the length of the frame to make it shorter. And there you go, it fits, but barely. So, let's remove the mounting plate from the frame so we can mount the seat onto the adult seat. It will attach just like so, but before we attach it, I'm going to wrap the contact area with this fabric foam to help provide a stronger hole and to prevent damage to the tube. After attaching the seat, I noticed the child seat has a dangerous amount of play back and forth. Before I fixed this, I readjusted the height of the seat as it was a bit too low for my daughter. 
I finally found my ratchet, so I was able to use that to properly tighten up all the bolts. To get rid of this unwanted play, you will want to tighten this bolt as hard as you can, so the metal will clamp down onto the main frame. After making sure all the bolts is tight on both the child seat and the mounting point, and of course a little adjustment to my external battery pack, the child seat is finally ready to be used. So let's check it out. So I have this seat for almost a month now, and I have to say I'm pretty satisfied with this add-on. For something that can easily carry a 30 pound child around, it has been working great so far. With all the bolts securely tightened, the seat is pretty stable and has been able to hold up well. Although there's no harness included, the side rail does a good job in keeping the passenger safely on the seat. The rails also sit right against my legs, so it gives the seat more stability as you can support it with your legs. The handlebar has plenty of room for my daughter's small hand to hold onto and the footrest is perfect for her small feet to rest on. Overall, I think this is a fun little seat to give your child a quick ride on. With all responsibility, precaution, and safety measure in place, this can really be a great way to enjoy some time with your child. I solely bought this child seat so I can take my daughter for evening rides within their tennis court and our gated apartment complex. Remember with having passengers, it is your responsibility to be in full control at all times as it can be dangerous. As always, make sure your child is safe and protected at all times. Wear protective gears and travel at a safe speed that you can control and safely stop if needed. Always operate this in a safe and closed environment away from traffic or terrains that will pose a hazard. With all safety measures in place, you will be able to enjoy taking your child for rides and share some valuable time and memories with them as I did with mine. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it, please help support my channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel if you have not. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll be notified when I have a new video up. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.